Last week, I made a video about my biggest fears as someone with bipolar disorder and honestly just being human in general. Um, but I watched a video recently that I'll talk a little bit more about later about another fear that I may have and that is just having regrets. Like, sometimes when you have regrets, it's just one of the biggest things that brings you down because you can never go back and change what you did in the past. You can only move forward. So in this video that I watched by Erica Kohlberg, who's a lawyer, um, she quit her $250,000 salary job um, because the company really didn't align with her values and when she didn't get to see her grandfather before he passed because of the work that she had to do for her job, she ended up quitting. And that was after she asked for an extension and basically her boss was like, no, what do we pay you so much for? It's like, so that you do the work basically. And so, um, she realized that this job that she had wasn't really what she really wanted in life, even though she made it to, like, a dream job, I guess, for a lot of people. And she realized she wasn't pursuing her why. And that's one of the biggest things that got me from that video is she kept saying, like, pursue your why. And... I think that's really important because it really answers a big question of like why do we live and why do we like go on sort of thing. There's I think something that drives us at our core and sometimes you just need to find that and really implement that into your life so that you feel more fulfilled in life and you're doing the things that m most align with your core values and just what you really want in life. And I feel like a lot of us have trouble with that. A lot of us don't really know what we really want. A lot of us don't know what that core value is. And a lot of us don't know that we can do what we want to do. Or do something that feels valuable to us and do that for our job. I think it's really hard when I put it all in those terms because there's so many things going on. But I think when it comes down to it, a lot of us do want to feel like we matter in this world. We want to feel like we have a purpose and that we're making some kind of a change. I feel like most of us just want to feel like we matter for the most part <laughs> um but um i think for me and just my overall struggle with trying to find independence and like a job in something that i want but also pays a good enough amount for me to be able to live um i think this is something i struggle with a lot and all of you, of course, know that because I've been talking about it a lot in the last many videos. Um, but this video definitely brought to my attention, like, a lot of the things that have been on my mind, I guess, about just jobs and what I really want. Um, I think recently I've been finding out that maybe... Like, if I hadn't majored in psychology, if I had majored in a STEM degree, I would have been able to find a better paying job. When I thought about it more, I realized that I don't really regret changing from chemical engineering or biochemistry because it was in the beginning that I thought that, like, my personality didn't really fit in with what I would be doing day to day like I'm more of a social person I think and I really need to be talking to other people a lot to like feel 
better mentally, I guess. Um, not a complete extrovert, but I feel like I still need social interaction in a day. And I feel like a lot of the things I was going for would be like working in a lab or, you know, working an office job where you're not always like just openly communicating with other people. Um, I think that's what pushed me a little bit towards psychology is that not only did I find a lot of the topics that I was learning about interesting, but I think that it's applicable to a lot of different things and that I could go in a lot of different directions. It's just that right now, as I'm graduating with only a psychology degree, it's like the the options are so broad and I don't know what to do. Um, but I think in general, I really wanted to make a difference in people's lives, like personally, not necessarily on a super broad level where I'm like, you know, I've talked about like being president of the United States before when I was manic, not something at that level. I think something like even being a teacher could be really fulfilling to me. And I know that right now teaching is not like a super lucrative job necessarily, but I think that just like having such an impact or being able to have a huge impact on like children's lives or just like his lives as they grow older, I think that's really important. And I think that looking back, all of us have this teacher that stuck like stuck out to us as Someone that you'll remember a little more than the other teachers. And it's mostly not about their teaching style. It's usually about their personality and something they did for you that was more personal. Um, for example, I remember uh, my high school Euro teacher. He... Honestly, I didn't really like history that much. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but... There was this one time me and my friend were going through something and she was in his other class. I think he picked up on something and he had a talk with me later after class and he was giving me basically like kind of a talk about how a lot of these things that happen now, like we need to get through them and we don't really remember them later in life. And he was trying to like make me feel better about the whole situation. And I still remember that to this day. And I don't really remember the way that he taught or like the things he talked about about history, but I do definitely remember that specific time he went out of his way to try to make me feel better about a situation and that he was attentive enough to even notice in the first place. I feel like I've had different scenarios with teachers where they've made an impact on me besides just teaching me the subject that they were paid to teach me, basically. And I think, so, for me, pursuing my why includes, like, making that kind of impact on other people's lives where I'm remembered for doing something even if I only saw them, like, one day or, you know, like, for one school year of their lives. Um... I just think that in general, the STEM route wasn't for me and honestly I don't regret changing it even though I'm struggling a lot now trying to find jobs. I think that that, that was the right choice for me and I think moving forward I may go into teaching. I'm just really afraid right now of it because after working at the summer camp this summer, I realized I do not have a lot of like, I do not have a commanding presence. And I feel like as a teacher, you kind of have to have like a little bit of control over the room so your students don't just like overtake you and like not listen to you ever. Because I definitely remember like a newer teacher I had in middle school where she was having a lot of trouble just having her students listen to her. And I was just, really rough for her and she ended up quitting I think that school at least 
so yeah <laughs> that kind of scares me i think that if i worked on it a little bit um i'd be able to like do that but um for now i just think that i have to find a way that i can have an impact on other people's lives in my job and be really happy about where i am any given moment and then also one day possibly pursue teaching um i think that a lot of our personalities are super different in that maybe you don't feel like you necessarily are driven by helping other people but are driven by other things and i feel like it's basically on you to find out what that is so that you can direct a lot of your life around that thing that drives you um it takes a lot of like introspection i guess to really figure out what it is but i hope that you guys can think about that and find out for yourself what really helps motivate you and start directing your life that way having all, everything you do kind of revolve around that um yeah if you guys have already found this and want to share it with me please comment that also please like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys next week